Johnny Sandy from Ice from Lost Beer at Hard Rock Hell Day 2 with me a closer. Welcome. Thank you. Now, last time we caught up with you, AOR, because before you had your headline slot, can you remember how well that went? How, sorry, how? How, how the headline slot went, AOR? Uh, it went well. Uh, I mean, it, it, was, um, it was very different to here uh, because we were performing at a very strange stage. I don't know if you saw it, but... <laughs> yes, we were, th we were there because we were there for the band before you and then stayed to catch yeah. our set. We yeah. had to shoot off, so it was kind of... There was no ride. No yeah. ride. It was literally just as, it, as was yeah. it before. But it was fun. It was a fun gig. And, um, I mean, it, it was a lot of people there for, for, for that small room. So, um, I mean, that would have been more... As a, like, it, it's a completely different. Now we did an acoustic stage and we had this massive room with, like... Well, sort of a big stage and there we had like a full on set and it was like on the ground but yeah, it, was, it was a fun gig. Well, wonderful. Now as you mentioned, I was going to answer it later, but as you mentioned your acoustic gig today, <laughs> um, trouble hit shall we say with the lack of power at one stage. No, no, that was actually planned. We was asked it? them to really? pull the plug. <laughs> <laughs> I believe obviously we've been interviewing all day and we we're, we're here to like last night so we didn't actually catch your acoustic gig. But you heard it. You heard it. By all accounts, you carried yeah. on just like a true professional would do. That was actually, we did it on purpose just so people would talk about <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah. And you see, it worked really well. It certainly yeah, did. For your viewers at home, yeah, the, the power uh, cut out yeah, on you our tell them. sort of second to last song. Uh, but we, uh, yeah, we so carried the, on. The power went, like, all the lights went. The, there was no, like, sound from the guitar except from the actual it guitar. It was as an acoustic game. Yeah. yeah. Be. yeah. <laughs> I, I continued to sing in the mic, I though, so, yeah. because I didn't know when the power was going to get back on and also it's sort of I don't know when you used to sing with a mic it's sort of I don't know it's like a safety to have there yeah <laughs> like, it must feel like um when everyone's a teenager and they're in the mirror singing to the favorite tune it's like that yeah just, there's nothing just even even, even when, like when we're practicing at mine uh, for the acoustic set I even even if I don't have a mic or even if I have a mic not plugged in it's just like you're just, just going through the practicing your choreo choreography. Is that the right word? Choreography, yeah. I give me her English lessons. <laughs> <laughs> so how did the, 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 the practicing go? So obviously stripping back the set as what we've, what we've been used to. It must have been difficult to actually get it to the sound you wanted it to be. It was fun. We, we did an acoustic set, um, was it in May? Yeah. Me. It was uh, pretty much after Hard Rock Hell AOR, uh, where we were supporting Mike Trump. Oh, we yes. did uh, an acoustic tour back then, and uh, we supported him with an acoustic set. Right. So we already had sort of half. Ah, right. um, so you already had the pipeline ready. Yeah. Yeah. It was a lot of fun because we had to rearrange the songs a little bit, like, yeah. like, like slow them down or just make them make them work acoustically. Um, which is actually really enjoyable. Yeah, it is quite fun to do that, um, to play them in a different way than you normally do. Did the compositions change much from the way they were meant to be? Because obviously, like, say, when you've got the full band there and you've got like the guitarist, like fills and all that, you obviously not necessarily can produce that acoustically. Mm. So did, had... did the many melodies change? Did the melody for the lyrics change at all? Or was it all similar to what we did? What, it's changed a little bit, of course, right. to make it fit, and um, uh, they changed the guitar part slightly. Yeah, uh, it, it depends. Some songs, you know, like for example, the ballad on the album, we just we just played it like it's played on the album, yeah. really, because it's already that, at the right was... speed. But some songs, like Never Too Late, is is quite energetic on the album, and it would just wouldn't work at that speed acoustically. So we kind of slowed that down and almost made that into a ballad. Right. Which, um, but I think it sounded great, you know. Good, good. Like I said, he was apart from the meant to be power outage. It, by all accounts, it was a really good set. It was, and it was so. so many people there. When we came to the venue, we started to pack up our stuff in the restaurant groups. We thought that was our venue, like on the floor in the entrance. And then they took us to this other huge room, and I was like, okay, this is great. But it's going to look so empty because it's such a big room. Yeah, em especially that it was it was at one o'clock in the afternoon yeah, as well, and we were thinking had everyone's partying the night before. So, thank you to all the hungover people that came and watched us. Yeah, and I didn't. I mean, you never know how many people know you until you're there I to see them. And it was just I didn't know this many people in Wales even knew who we yeah, were. I think the good thing is, even though the H H A O R was in Magnum, rather. 
still get the same fans turning up to all the events because they are good connoisseurs of music. So people that have probably heard of you from the AOR would go, right, yeah. I'm going to make a point. And again, because it's acoustic, it's different. And it's, some people like to see how you adapt your songs. And obviously you've enjoyed adapting your songs. So that, obviously that's come across well on the stage for everyone else. That's obviously a good bonus. Now, I believe that was, unfortunately, that's all you came to do today, your quick acoustic show. Yeah. So, what's the rest of this year got planned for you guys? There's not that much left of the year. I so know, that's why, that's why I'm thinking four weeks is not long. No, uh, I mean, this was our last gig for this year, so right. time to like, I don't know, Take just, stock, uh, just um, yeah, I mean, there, there is no sitting back and relaxing in the beer closed cab, it's always like, do this, do that, it's always next next thing, but um, there is some time to reflect on what has actually happened this year because we have gone from playing like, you know, a local small pub gig in London to playing at Sweden Rock, yes, which has 33,000 yeah, people, it's like, what yeah. happened? Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's the, the, the scale has just gone straight up in yeah. this. I think it's I think it's nice that because of everything that's happened for you, for you guys in this year, like you say, you've done the Sweden Rock, you've, you've, you've stripped it all back for the acoustic tour with Mike Trout, you've also done the acoustic gig here. Yeah. It's that much that you probably need six, seven weeks to actually take off and go, wow, because how how you are now, the the, the, the it could, everyone can see the enjoyment you've had doing acoustic shows and you obviously have enjoyed it. Maybe that's something that you might want to reflect on and go, well, is there anything we can do on that for future? Yeah. Or where, where do we go from here? Because obviously Sweden Rock, <laughs> where can you go from there? Yeah. I mean, we yeah. were talking about, we were sort of talking about the idea of even like recording the acoustic set at some point or doing yeah. like, a, you know. A, Do some uh, acoustic recordings, yeah. yeah that would I mean, be it's, really cool. It's an interesting experience because it gives you a chance in a way to show people what you can do because when you're just playing with acoustic guitars, yeah. No hiding either. Exactly. No. <laughs> it's a bit scary, but I I really like. Well, I'll say if you thrive on the adrenaline of that, of that scariness, it's, I always look at it and go, if you can strip it back and show your skills that way, mm. you have obviously got hiding to do because mm. you need to show yourself as a musician. Because some bands can play to tracks and all sorts of different ones, whereas when it's just you on stage, mm. acoustic guitar, there's no hiding spot. You've got to showcase that this is you. Mm. This is just how the way, how you are can't do that, obviously it's, it's the gimmicks that's that I said, whereas you obviously want to showcase the music and that's the whole purpose of you yeah. doing the album and doing the tours and everything else. So is there anything planned for next year, this year, that you're allowed to say? Yes. Go on. Uh, we are, we're taking a little uh, gig break. Yes. Uh, because we are about to record a new single. And that will be sort of a, a, a taste of what's to come in the next album, which we have already started to write songs for. Right. But there has been so much going on this yes. year, it's been crazy. So there hasn't been any time to only focus on the writing. It's constantly been, oh, we need to uh, we need to uh, rehearse for Sweden Rock, we need to rehearse for Horokel AOR, we need to rehearse for Glasgow. So in the next couple of weeks and in January, it's going to be writing uh, sessions and um, recording single sessions. And then there will be a music video also for the single. So it's striking while the aisle's hot, as they say. Keep, yeah. keep you going. And obviously, hopefully next year, we'll have a few festivals, a few yeah. more festivals. I was going to say, there are there are things lining up uh, towards the summer, but there's nothing we can say yet, of no, course. No, because I know when your management is stood around, I can get myself in enough trouble. <laughs> so I know we're not allowed to say that. No, but this, we're, hope, looking, but we're looking forward to the summer. I think they're, they're, it's looking like we're, we're going to have some good gigs. Another busy year ahead. Hopefully, yeah. Fingers Hopefully, we'll get to play in some new places because yeah, yeah. there seems to be a lot of fans going. Oh, when are you going to come and play over here and over there? So, yeah. fingers crossed, we'll get to, you know, we'll get to go. So tempted to go and see where the fans want you to play and see yeah. where you can go. Seems a lot of them are in Germany. I would love to go there. Have you not been to play in Germany? No. Right, well, see. Someday you know, you know, I will though. I'll say you know you need to speak to about things like that. Exactly. <laughs> Without me getting in trouble. <laughs> Standing <laughs> but, right there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's been a pleasure again to catch up with you since they were, and hopefully next year when the album's ready and you're out, we'll catch up again. Yeah. And we'll see where you are next year, and hopefully things are going to progress even more. They so, will. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.